so excited that you're here. One, we we actually ran into each other like it was almost a decade ago. Yeah. At a random a event, mm -hmm. celebrity fight night in right. Arizona. Right. Yes. Right. You oh, yeah. made my night, by the way. I did <laughs> oh, not stop talking you. about it. I'm not oh, kidding. Wonderful, thank you. Yes, you got up there, the whole crowd. It was like the, whole, the night was good, and then it got great when you got on stage. Everybody was seeing I Will Survive. It was like a massive party. It was great. You it are really so was. wonderful, and you're thank so kind. You. Sometimes people say, don't meet your heroes. You should sometimes. They are amazing. Oh, so you. how did you get I Will Survive to be the A side? Because I heard this crazy story that I Will Survive was actually, like the label gave it to you as like, just a B side. Yes. What? They sent me, well, the president of the company chose another song, chose a song for me to sing and go out and record. And when I got there, I asked the producers what would be the B side. You guys don't know what the B side is, do you? I know what the B side is. <laughs> yeah. I well, um, so they said, well, we don't know. Um, what kind of songs do you like? I said, I like songs that are meaningful, thoughtful, have good lyrics, touch people's hearts. They said, we think you're the one we've been waiting for to record this song we wrote two years ago. So Just they gave on me the, the lyrics. For two years. They gave me the lyrics, and I, um, I'm like, "What are you stupid? Yeah, you're gonna put this on the B side." Yeah. They said, "Well, that's the deal we made." I said, "Well, it's left to me. It won't stay on the B side." So when we got, uh, took it back to New York, the record company wouldn't even listen to it. I took it to Studio 54, let the DJ there play it, and if you get a jaded New York audience to dance, first time they hear a song, you know that's a hit, and that's exactly what. Oh songs ever that's and it just goes to show you too in the artist community like to really fight for what you feel like is your mm. your sound or your like your vibe like yeah. it's it's really hard because people will turn that down and then they miss so such often. a golden up it's so often yeah. yes yeah. okay so <laughs> why why did you want to make this documentary why was it important for you because I've come through a lot of difficult, difficult difficulties in my life. I've mm -hmm. had a lot of trials and tribulations, and the Lord has seen me through them all. And I wanted to, I'm like, what is it all for if you can't share not just the problems that you've had, but how you overcame them, mm -hmm. and that you overcame them, because a lot of people not only don't know how to overcome something, they don't think they will, or they, they can. can't see it. Oh, yeah. exactly. So I want people to know, you know, I'm thinking, you know, I'm not smart enough to make an original mistake. So whatever I've gone through, other people have gone through the same things. Yeah. And they need to know that you can overcome these things, not over, overcome them, but instead of allowing them to define you, use them to grow and gain strength and, and power and become a better version of who you are. Yeah, which is what we all should want to be. Yeah. Best versions of ourselves, yes. always working on that. Exactly. Well, what is next for you? What do you want to accomplish? I'm going to be recording some more music. In fact, we've started writing with some wonderful writers who have written for the likes of Miley Cyrus and oh, wow. uh, Megan Trainer and uh, Dolly Parton. So really great, I love how yeah, yeah, great, great writers that I'm writing with, and we've got some really good stuff in the can and more to come. And hopefully, we'll, we'll be releasing something later this year. Yeah, constantly creating. Yeah.